So now you can see we have installed this Android OS on my older laptop. Here you can see Play Store and scroll up. You will see all kind of apps here. Currently I'm installing this Free Fire on my laptop. Are you also looking for a video like how we can install Android OS on your older PC and laptop? So you are in a right video. In this video I'm going to show you how you can install Android OS on your older PC and laptop. So nowadays people use the blue stack to run Android games on Windows PC and laptops. That is causing some lag issue. So after this video you will not face any kind of lag while playing games okay so let's see how we can install this android os on my laptop so first you need to download the iso for this so you will get this link in description just directly click on it and you will directly navigate to this website and here you need to understand like what kind of iso you have to download if you have legacy bios then you have to download this iso and mostly people downloading this because they have older pc and laptop you can see download count and after that they are downloading for uefi mode how do do you know your system support uefi mode or your legacy mode so first just type here system information so just open the system information here you will see bios mode uefi or legacy i have uefi so i'm going to download this iso so just click on it and it will automatically download because i already downloaded it so i can save your time at the same time you have to download this rufus 3.70 after downloading you have to insert your 8 gb pen drive let me insert my pen drive i have inserted my 32 gb pen drive here here you need to select the ISO which you have downloaded. So I have downloaded this ISO here. Double click on it and now it's selected. Like if you have legacy mode then you have to select this MBR. I have GPT so I have select this UEFI. And now you just need to click on start. Click OK. And now it is saying like we are going to format your pen drive. So make sure you have backup all data from your pen drive. Then you are following this step. Click OK. Now it is going to create the bootable USB of Android OS. After that we are going to boot it in our laptop. And now we have created this bootable USB of Android OS and now you just need to shut down your system and after that you just need to reboot and press your BIOS key. For that you just need to go on this Google and search for like HP BIOS key. So if you have Dell then you have to type here Dell BIOS key. According that you have to press. So I have HP laptop so I'm going to press this F10 key okay. So after pressing the boot key and inserting the USB drive in your system you will get here this kind of interface and here you can see your pen drive, USB hard drive, UEFI. So I'm going to select this press enter. So now you can see it booted this Android OS so you have to select this advanced option. Here you need to select this auto update and hit enter. Now it is started installing Android OS on your system. So make sure you have backup all data from your drive because it is going to wipe up your drive. Okay, so now just reboot here and exit. And now all things are just done. It is going to directly boot Android on your system. Okay, and you just need to eject your USB drive. And now you can see Android OS is installed in your system and you just need to set up it. Just follow the video, you will understand everything. Now just click on start. Now here you will see like select a home app so you have to select the launcher so I'm going to select this launcher 3. So now you can see we have successfully installed this Android OS on our laptop right. So you can see this working perfectly fine this is very smooth on my laptop. So here you will get option like play store so just open it. Go into apps here you can install telegram, instagram or whatever the app you want like instagram let me install it. So you can see app is installed just open it so here you need to log in with your account so let me log in so now you can see i have logged in in my account tax and g so you can see i'm using this instagram app on my this laptop so you can go to this recent app so you will get here your apps so you can switch between apps like this so all things are same as we do in our android phone
so whenever you scroll up and here you will see all kind of apps like files gallery or google app play store instagram which i recently installed so that's how you can use android apps or android OS on your low end pc if your pc is not doing well then you can install this android OS. that's how we can install this android OS on our low end pc and laptop so okay guys that's it for this video i hope you like this video so just hit the like button and do subscribe if you are new on this channel